Check, check. Are we on? Am I on? Sounds good. All right. Well, welcome. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. So happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, welcoming you. Amen. All those of you that are uh, joining us by audio or video, we just want to say good morning and God bless and prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. He's always got something for us, but we have to take and we have to partake. Amen. So praise God. Bienvenidos a todos que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. So praise God. Before we go any further, let's uh, let's say this. <laughs> Amen. Just repeat after me. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. Now, first of all, grab your Bibles. Yeah. Grab your sword, soldier yeah. of God. Amen. So let's not get too far ahead. As a soldier of God, amen, we need our sword. We need the word, amen. It's the word, it's the truth that's going to set us free. Yes. So we need to get it. We need to partake of it and yes. take from it, amen. Because when we get it in us, it's got to come out. Yes. You know, it's not good to just have the word in you. It's, uh -huh. it's better for you to release it, yes. to go and accomplish what it's supposed to. As a soldier of God, you know, when you get yourself prepared and go, now you're putting faith to your steps and you're going and fulfilling what God has called you to do and he's called every one of us so quit sitting and say well I'm waiting on God God <laughs> quit waiting on God God is waiting on you to put some faith on them shoes right. and put some faith on those steps to step out and do what he's called you to do and he's equipped you every which kind of way yes. for you to fulfill what he's called you to do amen, amen. and he's called every one of us amen yes, so you, if you had never been saved if you've never accepted christ as your lord and savior now's the time amen. he wants to use you say well he never uses me he don't care about me he cares about you you know how much he cares about you says the bible says for god so loved the world that he came his only begotten son amen he sacrificed his son for you yes Amen. So don't ever say he don't care about me. If he sacrificed his only son, he cares Amen. about you. Amen. But we have to take. <sighs> oh, what's the word? We have to be responsible enough to, to take the sword, our sword, <laughs> and follow, take up our cross and follow him. Yes. Amen. And do what he's called us to do. Amen. He's done what he has to do. Now we got to fulfill what he's called us to do. And we can do all things through Christ all who things. strengthens us. But guess what? You know what? The Bible says, John 10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's going to stop this. He's going to try to stop you. He's going to send distractions. He's going to send family. He's going to send people. He's going to send all kinds of things to try to stop you. And guess what? Sometimes he, he fulfills that because huh. we don't go any further. We okay. just stop and we listen to what people say and <laughs> we don't do anything. That's it. Well, no, it's time to stop, refocus, yes. get your GPS right. Yes. That's your God purpose. Amen. And start. <laughs> Amen. Start fresh and start a new beginning there. Amen. I didn't forget. Okay. <laughs> As a soldier of God, grab your sword. Amen. Say it like this. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be part of the word of God. I boldly confess my mind's alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll never be the same. You'll never be the same. You know, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that you're a new creature in Christ. The old is gone, the new is in. And this is on a daily basis. Not just once in a while, you know, but on a daily basis. I'm a new creature in Christ. you got to remember those things. Because people, enemy is going to see to it that you are distracted and reminded of all kinds of stuff but we're not in the past anymore i've changed the addresses i don't know about you but i don't live there anymore that's right hey amen you're a new person you're a new creature in christ yeah. old is gone and new is in yes so see yourself that way when people try to dump old stuff on you just let them know i'm a new me <laughs> i'm a new me i had a spiritual birth and you can't tell from the outside but on the inside amen. i had a spiritual yes, birth yes, yes. you can't see in the spirit you can see physically, but you can't see in the spirit. Yes, yes, Unless amen. God opens your spiritual eyes amen. to see. Amen. Woo, I'm excited all about you. So get excited. If amen. you're sad, <laughs> let it go. Yeah. The Bible says, joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, it amen. Is. So get joyful for God. <laughs> uh, you don't want to use you if you're all sad and doom and gloom, you know. Mm -mm. 
How can you go and minister to people, God's people, or minister to people of this world right. if you're all sad, doom, and gloom yeah. yourself? Amen. There's nothing but sad news out there. Yes. Turn into anywhere and you'll find out all the sad things going on. Uh -huh. But no, <laughs> you got the good news. Amen. Yeah. That's the gospel. The good news of God. Amen. We've been talking about, uh, well, I'll read to a, uh, a little handout we gave uh, our conversation here today. But it's called prayer. You know, the best conversation you can have daily, every day, your best conversation is prayer. Yes. Listen to this. By, uh, prayer is, well, prayer is conversation, relationship with God. Amen. But prayer is a sin killer, yeah. a sickness healer, a power giver. A victory, a victory gainer, yeah. a blessed promoter. Keep on praying, and you'll have the power within you. Yeah. Amen. You get that power. You know what power is also translated to uh, the words, words yeah. that we speak. So we want to speak the right things. Amen. And what power means authority. Yes. God gave us authority. We need to continue to use our authority and not give it up to anything or anyone. Somebody bring you sadness. You know, don't take the sadness. Bring them into your peace. Yes. Bring them into the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Whew. There's a lot of great things yes. that God has given us. Amen. Amen. And none of them include defeat. He's That's got right. great plans for you. You know, God's got plans for you. The enemy uh -huh. has a plot for you. Yeah, yeah. And these plans, none of they all include include victory. Uh -huh. None of them include defeat. That's it. Unless you give up. Yeah. But he's not called us to give up. That's Amen. Right. He's not called us to quit. When the tough <laughs> when things get tough, the tough get going. Yeah. The people of God get pressing. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You know when when, when David <laughs> went to bring lunch to his brothers, he saw the giant. And everybody else was back because they saw yeah. the giant. I said, great. Wow, you know, we can't do anything about this. Mm. And David saw the opportunity. Said God is with me. I know who's with me. I know who backs me. Yes, yes. And I can do all things. That's all not what he said, but I'm saying God. we can do all things. <laughs> Whatever giants are waiting you for for you out there. And if you don't have giants, uh something's wrong. <laughs> because there's giants waiting on you. But yes. you know what? I'm not that's not gonna stop me from going and fulfilling right. what God has called me to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, as long as you're in sin. <laughs> Everything's going to be smooth. Uh -huh. You try to get out of sin and see what happens. Oh, yeah. He'll break loose. Because yeah. the enemy's going to see to it. Yeah. He's going to give you a hard time. And he's yeah. going to use anything and everything yeah. to try to stop you from getting out. That's right. But you know, when you get out and you give your life to Christ and accept him as Lord and Savior, now the battle's on. Yeah. Amen. And you know what? If you're fighting, you're, you're fighting a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. The mind is the battlefield. Yes. And if you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, with the Word of God, right. you're a defeated foe already. You're That's defeated. Right. Amen. You cannot, you cannot defeat the enemy That's by right. yourself. It's a spiritual war. Yes. And you need the Word of God. Amen. Yes, you do. So, amen. We've been talking about counting your blessings. Yes. I don't know if you can see it. Those of you that are watching my video, <laughs> I'll show you. I have my t-shirt on. It says, Count your blessings. Yes. Amen. That's a beautiful song. We sang it, sang it again this morning. Praise team, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. It's part, you know, well, I think we, we said something like this last week. Uh, mm, praise team, or the praise part of the service, it's not just a part of the service. That's right. It is the service. the service. Amen. So don't exclude certain parts of service and just walk in. Include in all of it. Amen. Yes. Because God is God's presence, and we invite the presence of God to be here all the time, at all times, you know. So yeah. partake and get into uh, Amen. praise. Amen. Yeah. Praise, yeah. praise is the greatest weapon you can have. Oh yes. Amen. You praise Him, praise Him, and that's what drives the enemy away. Uh -huh. He hates that. Yes, because if you ain't praising God, you're praising the enemy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're not, you know, you're praising Him, and He likes that. Yeah. Because you're serving him. Oh yeah. But you know when you serve God, you know, hey, you're praising him. So yeah. thank you, Jesus. Welcome, brother. So count your blessings. Yes. You have the right attitude. Have an attitude of being grateful. Have an attitude of gratitude. Of saying thank you, Lord. Amen. And use your authority. Concentrate on your blessings. 
not your problems, not your anxieties, not your not your worries. Just a quick thing there. Uh -huh. Amen. Don't concentrate on, on the wrong. Concentrate on the positive. Yes. Amen. So we're talking about uh, counting your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for all the things that you've done. Yes. We said it like this last week. You're too blessed to be stressed. That's it. If you're stressing yourself, uh -huh. you're not concentrating right. on the blessings. Amen. And there's too many blessings for you to stress out on right. one thing. That's that means it. you got your eyes off of him yeah. and you're concentrating on the care, on the anxiety, on the problem, whatever. But you don't know what I'm facing, Pastor. Mm. Yeah, well, we're going to be talking about some of this. As a matter of fact, if you want to write this down, our lesson today or our message today is going to be on drawing close to God. Yes. Coming close to God. And you know, that's one of the blessings that we have. As a matter of fact, let's go to uh, um, Psalms 100. We use this in one of our texts on counting our blessings. Let's go to okay. Psalms 100 right quick. Amen. Psalms 100. Yay. <laughs> All these are, are great. Uh -huh. But Psalms 100, mm -hmm. I was going to read just one verse, but uh, let's read the whole thing. Amen. Amen. Psalms 100. And you can do this on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all Amen. ye lands. Serve, Serve the Lord. Lord with gladness, not, not with sadness. sadness. But you don't know. Yeah, He knows. He knows. We, you know, Jesus' mission was not an easy mission. That's right. And you know, daily He went and He draw closer to His Father. Yes. Lord, I need you. Oh, Father, I need you, Father. I need you. If you knew that you was going to be sacrificed, uh -huh. <laughs> you would have some problems. Mm -hmm. You would have some anxieties. You would have some worries. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He, he drew closer to Father every time. He came to Father and said, Lord, Father, I need, I need, I need your strength. Yes. I need your help. Yes. You know, how do I deal with this? Yeah. So if Jesus went, so can we. Amen. Yes. It's okay for us to go to Father. Yes. It says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> know ye that the Lord he is. God is. He that made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Amen. And this is a verse I was going to ask or share with you. It says, Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Man, count your blessings. I am able to come into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. And verse 5 says, For the, for the Lord is good. <laughs> Somebody out there telling you God is bad, they don't know God. Amen. Amen. Somebody telling you something different, you have to know what the word says for you to know somebody's giving you some bad information. That's not what my Bible says. It's okay for you to say, excuse me, that's not what the Word of God says. Right. That's not what Father says. That's not what the, the Word of God says. That's it. You misquoted that. Well, uh, brother so-and-so says so. Or sister so-and-so says so. No. Yeah, but what's the Word of God says? Yes. That's why we go and study from the Word. Yes. And find out what the Word says, not what brother so-and-so said. Yes. Amen. For the Lord is good. good. His mercy good. is everlasting. Good. And His good. truth good. endures good. to all generations. But you know, hey, things change, you know. That was a long time ago. That was for the people back then. <laughs> now it's a new generation. <laughs> it says for all, it says for, endure it through all generations. Amen. The word of God includes everything. It's nothing new. Amen. It's nothing, no new thing God forgot about. He covered it all. And then sacrificed Jesus, Jesus rose. Yes. And now we have, amen. The word of God, praise God. So count your blessings. Concentrate on the blessing and not the problem. And uh, we're going to be talking about drawing close to Him. Let's go to James 4 and 8, and we'll, that'll be our text. James, the book of James, chapter 4, and verse 8. James 4. James 4. If you found it, me either. <laughs> Come on, James. <laughs> Somebody found it already. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Me too. What page was that now? <laughs> <laughs> Mine is on page 1604. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not here. James, uh, <laughs> James 4 and 8. 
And uh, let's, uh, let's start with verse 7. Verse 7 says what? Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So listen, this is what the word of God says. Yes. If we submit to him, mm -hmm. he is, okay? If we submit, submit yourself to God, resist mm -hmm. the devil, and he will flee from you. Yes, yes. So we need to do our part. We, we need to fulfill what the word of God tells us. Yes. And then verse 8 says, draw nigh to God and he will do what? Draw nigh, draw nigh to you. Well, you know, so-and-so says, you know, God has nothing to do with me anymore. You know, we're going to talk about this, but the prodigal son left the father. Uh-huh. <laughs> But the father never left him. That's right. And the father expected him. Yes, he did. And the father's expecting a lot of you to come yes. back home. Amen. A lot of us are still gone. Huh. But we need to come home. We need to come to father. And father's expecting us. And and we heard. And we're in fear. And we're saying, and we don't want to come back home because what father gonna say? You know what? If you never heard this before, I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> God knows all your bad things, your sad things, all your shortcomings, yes. and loves you the most. Yeah. And he's waiting for you to come home. Amen. So don't hesitate anymore. It's time to come home. Yes. Just say, Father, I've sinned against you. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And he's going to take you back. Now you get busy for him. Amen. <laughs> so draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. Yes. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. We're going to be talking about this, and, uh, you know, I just want to put you at ease, and uh, we're going to take it slow. <laughs> we don't hold you long. So, Amen. open up. Amen. Let the Word of God come in. Glory. Amen. Not we want to live with our doors closed all the time. The Father says, He's knocking, but we're not yeah. opening. Yeah. So, be at ease. Okay, we won't keep you long. So just open up and let Father come in and do some cleaning. Amen. He yes. said he wants to encourage you or he wants to bless you. He wants to change you. But you yes. know what? Some of us need correction once in a while. Yeah. Amen. So change is good. Yes, change is. is a good thing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo. When things are going bad, one place to turn for guidance is Father. <laughs> one place to turn for help is Turn to Him. Go to Him. This is not a temporary fix, but a permanent uh, problem. This is a permanent fix to a temporary problem. Running into open arms of a loving Savior that helps those who are hurting, those that are seeking, and those that are drawn close. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is there for us. And he's always going to be there for us. Yes. But we need to know that we can come to him. And you know, when all of us have uh, love and compassion, we need to use that. We also have a testimony mm -hmm. that God brought us through. And God saw us through. And when he says, when he says share your testimony, mm -hmm. share it. Because they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And the words of their testimony. testimony. Some of us have been gone through some harder times than others. But still, we came through. And he saw us through. He says in, uh, in Psalms 23 that even though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, you fear no evil. Amen. Evil. He's always with us wherever we go. Yes. Remember, he's a God on the mountain. Yes. And he's God in the valley. Yes. Whatever we go through, he's with us. Yes, amen. So amen. even though we think we're hiding, <laughs> we're not. Because he knows and he's seeing yes. and he's watching. And he's waiting for you to turn back. Right. And he's waiting for you to just change. Yes, amen. <laughs> So praise God. So it's good, just like uh, so, uh, Psalm 100 says, we can go in the Father, in, 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 in His gates with thanksgiving, yes. into His courts with praise, yes. and He's there with open arms waiting for us. Yes, He is. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's go to another scripture. It says Matthew uh, 11, 28 through 30. Matthew, book of Matthew. And... What chapter? Verse 11. Excuse me, uh, chapter 11 and Matthew. verses uh, 28 and 30. Matthew chapter 11 and verses 28 and 30. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you there? Yes. yes. Okay. 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that what? Labor. Labor and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 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 Amen. Take my yoke upon you 
and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, yes. and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. So we can come to him, you know, anytime we want to. Yes. Not just certain time of the year, not just some certain time of whatever. Yes. But at all times we can come to him. Yes. Amen. He made it possible. Jesus made it possible for us to be able to come to him. Yes. Amen. And he's there for us. So yes, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read it to you from another translation. The easy to read translation. Mm -hmm. It says, come, come to me, all of you who are tired, have a heavy burden. Mm. You have been forced to carry. <laughs> See, if Father didn't give it to you. Right. You're forced to carry extra uh -huh. weights that you're not supposed to. What did he say? Cast it on me. Yes. Give it to me. Yes. Give it to me. Yeah. But this is what easy to easy to read version says. Come to me, all you that are tired and heavy burdened. Mm -hmm. You have been forced to carry. Yes. I will give you rest. Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will be able to get some rest. Yes, <laughs> yes the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. The load, I, the load I give you to carry is light. Uh -huh. Amen. He's not going to give you more than you're able to carry. That's it. Amen. That's, That's okay. It. Let's remember this. It's so easy to fall into uh, wrong teachings. It's so yeah. easy to pick up stuff that says, hey, this sounds good. But you know what? <laughs> the crowd may be going to the right. Jesus says, go left. And we're going with him and we're following him and not just following the crowd. Please him, don't please the crowd. Yes, you know, amen. by joining the wrong, wrong, wrong crowd. Amen. So praise God. Draw close to him and cast it on him. Give it to him. First Peter five, uh, five and six. Hey man, we're in the word today. We yes. teach from the word here. <laughs> so open your Bibles to First Peter five, six and eight. First Peter. It's right before Second Peter. <laughs> Come on now, some of us need to smile more. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> First Peter, First Peter uh, chapter 5, verses 6 through 8. Are you there? Mm. Yep. 6 through 8. It says, Humble yourself, therefore, unto the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt ye in due time. Mm. So, you know what? You may not know this, but just know this. When you're faithfully serving God, uh -huh. God's going to promote you yeah. in due time. Amen. So whatever is happening, it's okay. Trust God. He's going to promote you. Your time is coming. Whether you're doing big or small, it doesn't matter. As uh -huh. long as you're faithfully serving Him, yes. promotion is coming. And expect it. He wants to bless you. He wants to prosper you. Yes. Amen. So praise God. And seven says this, we're, something, we're still learning about this. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says what? Casting all you care upon him, for he careth for you. Yes. Amen. It says be sober, be vigilant, because what? Your adversary, yeah, the, devil, yeah, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. Yes. Yes. Amen. He's seeking who he may devour. Uh -huh. The enemy is. And one of his greatest weapons is... Uh, not only your mind, but he can put things in your mind. Yeah, yeah. And he can't reach your mind, but when you speak those things, mm -hmm. he's listening. Mm -hmm. I and mean, if you're speaking negative, mm -hmm. you're speaking wrong things, uh, uh, negative things, he's going to pick it up. And you're opening doors for him to slide in. Amen. That's, oh, man. Renew your mind with the Word of God. And don't say the right things. Even though it pops in your head, don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. Amen. Amen. Be careful. Put a glory to your lips mm -hmm. and don't speak it out, especially if you know it's negative and it's going to come back and haunt you. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So let me read it to you from the Amplified. Therefore, humble yourself, uh, demote, lower yourself in your own uh, estimation under the mighty hand of God that in due season, in due time, he may exalt you. And verse 7 says, casting the whole Casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties and all your worries, all your concerns once and for all on yes. him. For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Yes. And it re re references uh, 
uh, Psalms 55 and 22. Mm -hmm. And you can write that down and go check it out. But it says, cast all your burdens mm -hmm. on him. Amen. For uh, Psalms uh, 55, 22. Cast all the all your burdens on Jesus. Why? Because he cares for, for you. you. He cares for you. Amen. Amen. And verse 8 says, be well balanced, tempered, sober-minded, be vigilant and cautious at all times for the enemy of yours, the devil, mm -hmm. roams around like a lion, roaming, uh, roaring in fear, uh, fear, fierce hunger, seeking fierce someone to seize upon and yes. devour. Yes. Okay? So the enemy wants to kill, steal, kill, kill destroy. destroy. John 10.10 10 talks about that. He wants to steal, kill, destroy. Yes. If it's from the enemy, he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. So you have to be careful. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I've got it written here and I, I don't have to read it to you anymore because I just read it to you. <laughs> so praise God. Your adversary, the devil, you have one enemy. Yes. It's not your neighbor. It's not your mate. It's, it's, it's not your family. It's the enemy, the devil. Amen. He uses people, but your enemy, the devil, he's your biggest enemy. Amen. So praise God. So church, just call in the name of Jesus. He's only one prayer away. <laughs> this is daily, on a daily basis, not just when you see yourself in deep waters. Not just when you see yourself in trouble, but at all times, spend time with Him. Yeah. It's called relationship. Uh -huh. We are to have relationship with Him all the time. You know how you get to know each other? Ooh. Relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to know one another. Yes. And so we need to spend time with Him. Yes, we do. Amen. 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 Not just Amen. when you're in trouble. Right. Not just when you feel like it. Not just when things are going bad. Uh -huh. Hey, when things are good, I don't need you, God. <laughs> huh. Adios. You know, you no. check out. And you check back in when things are going bad. No, don't worry about that. It says the following Bible hero is called upon him. We talked a little bit about this. We'll talk some more about it. Jesus called the Father for strength daily. Yes, he did. Amen. Yeah, the Bible says so. He says he went off. Yes. To be with the Father. Yes, he did. You know, he was with his disciples. But then he says he went off. Amen. And he went and spoke to the Father. <laughs> if he can do this, so can we. Yeah. That was good for him. And he saw him, to, saw him to, to fulfill his mission and saw him to victory. So can us. That's what he wants. He's our greatest example, our greatest imitator that we can imitate. Jesus. Amen. So if Jesus did it, so can we. Yeah. Hey, it worked for him. It'll work for me. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Glory. Yeah. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. How about the prodigal son? He made that call, saying, Father, I need you. Can I come back home? <laughs> they ready have phones then. <laughs> but the prodigal son told Dad, hey, Dad, you know, hey, you got an inheritance for me. Give it to me. It's time for me to check out. It's time for me to do my thing. I'm a man now. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you better have all your little dots uh, dotted and all your T's crossed, you know, because... Uh, you go into that world, you know, there's all kinds of okay. Goliaths, all kinds of giants yeah. waiting for you. Amen. They're going to tear you up. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, he didn't know that, but guess what? He found out quick. Yeah. And you'll find out quick once you run out. You know, if you're not, if you're not uh, charging your spiritual batteries on a daily basis and getting in the Word and charging, just keeping yourself right. charged up, guess what? You let those batteries low. And next thing you know is the world's going to have your lunch quick. Oh, yeah. They're going to have you quick. Yes, you need to keep yes, yourself yes. up and up. It says, yeah. out of your innermost beings shall flow rivers of yeah. living water. Yeah. And then keep those batteries charged up. Why, yeah. when you study in the Word, confessing the Word, you know, speaking it out. Yes. Man, it says that when you submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he's going to flee from you. Yes, yes. You want no part of you. No, I'm all wait till you till you get discharged. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait till you get discharged. Then I'll come mess with you. Yeah, he knows. Uh -huh. You know why? Because we start talking different. Yes. Our yes. attitude changes. Uh -huh. Amen. And we start saying negative things, yeah. bad things, and it's hurting us. Yes, so yes. we don't allow ourselves to go that way. Right. We don't let. We don't allow our cars to run out of gas uh -huh. if we want to fulfill and get to where we need to go. Yes, right. We keep yes. it full. We keep it up and up 
So we need this fuel. We need this energy. We need the word of God to stay full yeah. to fulfill what we're going to do. We're going out into the battlefield on a daily basis and we need to stay full. Otherwise, yes. we're going to be Glory. empty. Yes. The yes. world's going to have us. And man, you come home and say, man, what a mess. What a hard day. Uh, yeah, well, you're confessing that you had what you asked for. Uh, Why? Because uh, I didn't take the time to prepare, uh, prepare ourselves, study to show myself, approve unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth. So the prodigal son says, you know what? I don't have to go through this. I can just go back to Father's house and yeah. I can I, I could have it a whole lot better. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some of you prodigal sons, prodigal daughter, daughters out there need to come back home. Yeah, it's amen. time to come home. Amen. Yeah. He didn't send you off. You sent yourself off. Yeah, he didn't push yeah. you off. You pushed uh -huh. yourself away. I don't need you now. But you know what? He's got open arms waiting for you. Yes. It's time to come home. Amen. amen. So praise, praise God. God. Come on home. And you know, this is one thing I don't know about you, but go back and read these stories all the time. Says the father went out on a daily basis yeah. and he looked and he looked down the road waiting for son to come home. Mm -hmm. He's looking for you to come home. Yes. Amen. And guess what? <laughs> this one day, here comes the son. Mm -hmm. And the son comes and he says, Father, I'm not worthy to be called your son. I'm not worthy of these things. Mm -hmm. I'm not worthy of these blessings. That's mm -hmm. just me. The father says, he ignored that. He yeah, didn't hear yeah, that. Yeah. He just said, mm -hmm. you know, hey, bring the ring. Put a ring on his finger. You know, bring, bring the robe. Bring, let's kill the fatty calf. Yeah. And, and let's have a feast. Because yeah. he that was lost is now found. He's yeah. here. He's with us. And that's what he's doing for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants you back. And he's welcoming you back. Yeah. With open arms. Mm How -hmm. about Moses at the Red Sea? <laughs> These Bible heroes, they called on Jesus. They drew close to him. Yes. <laughs> Moses says, <laughs> I don't know if you ever caught yourself in something this hard, but uh, we've got hundreds of people, I mean millions of people, <laughs> that he's leading. Mm. And all of a sudden you got a Red Sea in front of you and Egyptian army chasing you, yes. mm. coming uh, behind you. So what do I do? Lord, what do I do? <laughs> Help me. He's drawing close to God. And God says, you know, this is what I want you to do. Just raise the staff. And guess what? Man, the be most beautiful uh, uh, freeway opened up right <laughs> in the Red Sea. <laughs> and they just went through yes. dried land Amen. all the way through to the other side. Mm -hmm. And when they were on the other side, you know, and the army started to uh, come through, <laughs> Those waters collapsed. Yes. Amen. That's what he wants to do to all the things that are coming against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just put them behind you. Yes. Praise God. Just a few things that we forget about. Lady with the issue of blood. For years, she went to see doctors. They couldn't do anything. But you know what? Her faith was in Jesus. He says, if I could just go. He didn't have to touch, I mean, uh, speak anything. <laughs> He just said, if I could just touch the helm of his garment. Right, amen. That was her faith. Yes. And you know, Jesus is going through this crowd. And there's people bumping him all over the place. Mm -hmm. But when this lady, and I don't know what your situation is. Maybe the doctors have given up. Maybe whatever, everybody's given up on you. Mm -hmm. But this lady says, the doctors gave up on me. Everything is going wrong. But mm. if I could just, she found out Jesus was going to be there, mm. and she followed and mm. went to the crowd, and she says, "If I could just touch the hem of his garment, yes, you know, then get in front of him or anything like that, mm. just the hem of his garment." And all these, this, this crowd, this huge crowd, and people bumping Jesus, didn't affect him, didn't bother him. But guess what? When this lady's faith was in touching the hem yes. of his garment. Amen. Mm -hmm. She touched him. I don't know. Yes. She says an old lady, she worked through this crowd and touched the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. And Jesus stopped mm -hmm. and said, somebody touch me. Yes. <laughs> his disciples say, what are you talking about? Praise it's God. all kinds of people bumping <laughs> in you. Mm -hmm. It was that anointed faith yes. that 
was released, that anointing was released from him when the lady touched him. Yes, and guess what? Amen. And she was healed. Yes. And Jesus turned around and ministered to her. Yes. Amen. amen. Your faith has made you whole. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. So I don't know where your faith is, but yes. you know what? Have faith in him. Yes. Amen. Yes. If I could just touch the hill of his car, uh -huh. you don't have to get in front of him. That's it. Amen. He's with you. Since this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it is. He's in heaven interceding for us. Mm -hmm. He's at the right hand of, of God, a place of authority. But he's for us. He's not against us. Yes. So don't let the world, don't let people, don't let false teachings lead you away from him. Mm -hmm. Know what the word of God says and draw close to him. That's what we're talking about. Draw close to him. That's relationship. That's counting your blessings and being there. Amen. Come on there. Amen. We have a few. <laughs> Daniel and the lion's den. <laughs> he drew close to God, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they threw him in there for a meal. For a lion. <laughs> the hungry, hungry lions. And you know he drew close to God when he was there. And the lions never touched him. And the king <laughs> and the crowd came the next day. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they were expecting the lions to be sleep full with a full tummy uh -huh. <laughs> and Daniel gone but no he was still there so it's king here am I <laughs> you're expecting something else but God he drew close to God and God was there with him he shut those lines uh, jaws and they weren't able to touch him right Amen. So praise God they were just little pussy cats yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see, we talked about a little bit about this, but David facing Goliath. Uh -huh. Amen. What is your problem? Whatever big problems you had, David, little shepherd boy, chose to be king of Israel. <laughs> he had a big giant problem in front of him, and you've got giant problems in front of you. But you know what? you got to get that relationship right. Yes. Count your blessings. Uh -huh. Draw close to God. And those problems are going to fall away. Amen. Yes. David knew who he was in Christ. He knew who's backing him. And we need to don't know the same thing. And you know how you know this? Is draw close to him. Mm -hmm. And know what the word of God says. Yes. Amen. I've got the truth in me. And yes. nothing can change that. The only thing can change that is you. The only thing can stop that is you. Nobody yeah. can stop you. <laughs> if God is for you, who can be against you? Uh -huh. Amen. So David knew and David pressed on and defeated his giant. Yes, he did. You can do the same thing. Lord. Whatever problems, whatever anxieties, whatever cares, whatever seems impossible for you uh -huh. is possible through God. Amen. Let's 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 learn these things. Amen. Joshua, the walls of Jericho. You know, Moses was gone. Joshua took over. He led him into the promised land. But you know, now you got a Jericho wall. Since it's so wide, nothing can bring it down. <laughs> well, it was man-made. <laughs> but God knows better. Amen. Amen. So he trusted God. He drew to God. And he called on God. And God gave him a plan. Remember, he's given us a plan. Uh -huh. He's given each and every one of us a plan. And those plans include... Uh, succeed. Those plans include win. <laughs> Amen. Not defeat. And he gave him a plan. And you know, you talk about Joshua, you talk about an army general that knows all these things yes. about fighting. But the plan God gives him is totally opposite of what yeah. yes, he's been is. trained yeah. to do. Yeah. But still, when he's given you Whatever he's given you, trust him uh -huh. and do what he tells you to do. Yeah. And he trusted what God told him to do. Yeah. He said, to walk around, send the yeah. worshipers up ahead, the yeah. praisers up ahead. <laughs> I said, what? Normally you put your armies in the front. Mm -hmm. But they walked around and told, they did what God told them to do. And guess yeah. what? When they blew their trumpets, them indestructible. Praise and worship. Uh, you know, the praise and worshipers, when, when he blew the trumpets and they begin to sing and shout, guess what? The walls come tumbling yeah. down. Amen. I mean, they were so flat, they just walked across. 
Well, if God did it, I don't know how he does it, but still, you trust him. <laughs> he took care of it. Yeah. Okay? And they went in and fulfilled what God told them to do. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, so, you. praise God. Whew, man. These are just a, a few. Uh, he told Jonah what to do. He told Jonah what to do. He says, go to Nineveh. I uh -huh. want you to go to Nineveh and preach the word. <laughs> Jonah had some other ideas. He says, no, I'm not. <laughs> he said, I'm not. He's going the other way. Yeah. Well, he boarded a ship that's going the other way. And they started having problems. Mm. And he came to the, to the captain and told him, he says, you know why you're having problems? It's because I'm here. Yeah. I'm running from God. <laughs> Some of you are running from God. You're creating problems elsewhere. Yeah. That's right. You just surrender. Surrender yourself. Surrender is a good word. Uh -huh. Surrender yeah, yourself yeah. to him. Amen. <laughs> and uh -huh. he did. So he told the captain what to do. And uh -huh. sure enough, you know, yeah. captain... He immediately did what he told him to yes, do. Yes. Throw me overboard. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> they threw him overboard in the middle of the ocean. You know, uh -huh. you're going to die. But God had a plan. Yes, he did. He prepared a big fish <laughs> to come and swallow him. He swallowed him. Oh, How can God. you survive all this? Uh. Amen. And still be conscious and talking to God. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, Lord, <laughs> I, I repent. <laughs> I want to be close to you. <laughs> I'll do what you call me to do. Mm. Some of us have been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever God has called you to do, he's not going to change his mind. That's One it. day you're going to stand before him, uh -huh. and he, he's going to say, why didn't you do what I called you to do? What are you going to say? I didn't uh -huh. think I could. I wasn't able to. I was afraid. What are you going to say? Huh. I'd rather him say, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. Amen. Yes. So you know what? If you're afraid to do it, just mm -hmm. trust him. Yeah. yeah. Just trust him and say, Lord, I'm, I don't know how, uh -huh. but I'm trusting you. Amen. Uh -huh. That's the best thing to do. Uh -huh. I don't know how. <laughs> That's right. But he knows how. Yes. And he's going to do it through you. Yes. And yes. all he's telling uh, Jonah is go to Nineveh uh -huh. and preach the gospel. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? He did. So praise God. Yes. Amen. Whatever he's called you to do, yeah. just trust him to go. Amen. Man, I have all kinds of, the three Hebrew children we talked about last week, they didn't change. No, they they didn't. threw them in the fire, lake of fire, and said, oh, yeah. you're worshiping God. No, you can't do that. We're going to throw you in the lake of fire. They threw them in the lake of fire. The people were so hot. The people, that, the soldiers that threw them in there that died. It was a high the, fiery furnace the fiery furnace, yeah. <laughs> the fiery furnace. Yeah. They threw it in there. They threw them in there and they died. Yes, they did. But guess what? And just drew them closer to God. Uh, they were so close. They saw instead of three, they saw four. They saw four. They saw four. Mm -hmm. So whatever fiery furnace you've been drawn to, <laughs> God is with you. Whatever fiery thing, <laughs> problem you're in. God is with you. Yes, he is. Amen. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Never Amen. Leaves. Praise God. So the apostles call on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, <laughs> they're, they're going to the other side. Jesus says, the God in the, in, the, in the boat said, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. That was faith enough for them to know. If he says, we're going to the other side, we're going to make it to the other uh -huh. side. No matter what comes against us. But no, the storm rises up when they're in the middle of the lake. Mm -hmm. And immediately the apostles, or they come to, to Jesus and said, he, Jesus went and, and he was he had peace about it. And he just went and, and, and lay down and, 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 and rested. He's tired. Yes. And the apostles go wake him up and say, don't you care that we perish? He said, what's the problem? He said, well, what were these storms? Hmm. So in what he spoke, he spoke to the wind, peace be still. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can do the same thing. We have the word in us. But what did he do? He spoke the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. He spoke the word. And there was peace. We need to speak to our problem. Yes. Whatever the problem may be, we need to speak to it. Says, wait, sickness. Yeah. There's no room for sickness in my body. Why? Mm -hmm. Because by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Yeah. I'm not receiving that. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we spoke to those storms. So guess what? <laughs> and I'll close with this. We're not finished, yeah. but we'll close with this. Yeah. Says we can call on him to calm 
barnstorms of life. Yeah. Some of us are going through some mighty storms, amen, that we've have created. Or somebody's created it. But still, you're going through it. But you know, when you're with him and you draw close to him, you have a relationship, say, wow, I'm counting my blessings. I'm so yes. blessed. Yes. You know, yes. I don't have time to be stressed. Uh -huh. I don't have time for these storms, yes. amen. Give it up. Yeah. Amen. Some of all you need to do is release it. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Yes. And let yes. God do Hallelujah. It. Amen. Yes. When you yes. release and let God, you know, hey, things are going to change for the better. So praise God. Again, yeah. when we draw close to God, good things will happen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Some of us don't want to let go. Huh. We got to let it go. Yes. If he says let it go, let it go. Let Why it. are you still holding on to it? it. Amen. Again, James 4, 7, and 8. Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you know, you sinners. Yes. And purify your hearts. Double you double-minded. Yeah. And I'm going to read it to you in, in certain, certain ways here. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself to God. Surrender yourself to him. And place yourself totally in his hands. Uh -huh. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yeah. He's gone. Adios. <laughs> Let him go. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Draw close. Draw near to God, and he'll draw near to you. It says, wash your hands, you sinners. Mm -hmm. Purify your hearts. For your loyalty is divided between God and the world. You're double-minded. Yeah. James 1 and 8. You can write this down. James 1 and 8 says, being double-minded. Being a double-minded man, unstable and restless in all his ways, in everything he thinks, feels, and decides. To huh. not be a double-minded person. That's right. Amen. Trust in him. Get the word in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Confess the word and trust him. Amen. Amen. So, count your blessings. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You're too blessed to be stressed. Amen. Yes. And draw closer and draw closer to him. And that's called relationship. Amen. So, Father, we just want to thank you for this opportunity we had to come close to you, Father. I delivered what you asked me to deliver, Father. So now, thank you, Father, for blessing your people yes. and setting them free and having them, Lord, to have relationship and draw closer to you. As these days, Father God, yes. there's all kinds of problems, all kinds of things happening, Lord, but yes. still, we're trusting you and we're drawing closer to you, Father. And we thank you that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. Some of you, Amen. we won't close because you have an opportunity. You've been gone from Father too long. And this is an opportunity for you to come home. Yeah. So if that's you, all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. You know, his word, there's no distance in his word. You're, wherever you're receiving this wherever you're reviewing this still it's the word of God we're preaching Amen. it's from the word of God we're preaching yes. so all you have to do is just confess it repent and ask him to come into your life Amen. you have to ask him and you have to receive him yes. as your Lord and Savior yes. Amen. and then when you do this you're going to get up and you're going to start working and start doing what needs to be done and fulfilling yes. what God has called you to do. He has a great plan for you. Yes, he does. God has, an enemy has a great plot for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That includes defeat. Includes mm -hmm. steal, kill, destroy, defeat. Mm -hmm. God has a great plan for you and none of it includes defeat. That's it. Amen. So, Amen. it's time to get busy for God. Yes. Amen. So, yes. praise God. If you're watching or you're listening, and you need healing in your body. The Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. You're healed. Amen. Whatever part of your body, yes. your mind, your head, your body, yeah. totally. Just touch that part and say, I'm not receiving. As a child of God, I don't receive sickness in my body. That's right. I speak to that sickness yeah. to be gone in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. By Jesus Christ, I am healed yes. from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Yeah. And I receive my healing now yes. I receive I believe yes. I'm healed and I receive my healing yes. no matter what your body is telling you Amen. you speak That's to right. it and you Amen. say wait a minute Woo! I'm not receiving the negative report Amen. I'm not receiving this sickness I'm rebuking that mm -hmm. this body was not made for sickness this body Amen. was made 
to be healed and be strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Glory. Amen. So we're done. And uh, this is a great time for you. If this is uh, a great time for you to, those of you that are watching and listening, for you to give of your tithe, your offerings, you can still do so. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Amen. And hit that donate button. Uh, by mail, NBC, PO Box 252, Martha, Texas, 79843. We just want to say God bless you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.